So let us now bring in two small business owners. Ryan Gilliam is the owner of Pediatric Behavioral Sciences in Jacksonville, Florida. And Ravine Gandhi is founder and CEO of GMM Nonstick Coatings. Uh, Ravine, I'm going to start with you. You just heard Kate's excellent report. How do you feel? Are you personally nervous? Um, I'm not really nervous in the sense of, as a founder and a CEO, there's always problems in business. And I think that this anxiety that uh, she mentioned is because we have, you know, the most extreme election in decades. And I think that if uh, we get a firm decision on Tuesdays, I hope we do, I think people around the world and in America will just kind of calm down. And this might be contrarian, but I think of a spirit of bipartisanship could emerge. And I think that that will help anxiety abate. Yeah, what, what's, your, what's your view, Ryan? I hope he's right. I really do. Do you think he's about. right or do you hope he's right? No, I think he's right. I mean, because in, as a business owner, you're going to always have uncertainty. That's, that's kind of why we sign up for it. With no risk, there's no gain. Um, however, right now, um, I'm really excited for this election to be over so we can get back to business as usual. Is it slowing up business? I mean, do you see a slowdown in business, in your business, because of the election, do you think? Right now, for us, it's really important because the Affordable Health Care Act really dramatically impacts our business as far as the policies within it. Uh, the lifetime caps as a medical practice that we are are extremely important to the clients we serve and the employees that we pay. So we're looking for a Hillary Clinton uh, win because Donald Trump unfortunately has not put out any you know, clear uh, policies or plans on how he's going to, you know, not just repeal it, but replace Obamacare with something that's going to maintain uh, the services and revenue that we produce on a weekly and a monthly basis. So we're looking for Hillary Clinton right now. Ravi, and I'm not sure if your business is contract based, but are you seeing a slowdown in orders at all for, for nonstick coatings from some of your big customers like a George Foreman or a Calphalon? Uh, no, I'm actually happy to report that we are having our best year ever right now. And uh, I think that this kind of goes in line with uh, the ACA points that, uh, that Ryan was just talking about. I think that uh, for us, we expect our health care costs to go up 30% next year, which is obviously bad. But I really do believe that once the election occurs, there will be a fix, a grand bipartisan bill to close some of the loopholes, get those costs down. And I think that it's actually absolutely going to be a good thing. If they don't and your health care costs rise by 30%, then what? Well, I think that we're going to have to deal with it. But I think that in the end, there has just been too much extremism in for the last six years. There has been a lot of people who just wanted to tear this law down. And I think that once people realize that this is settled law, uh, I think that there's going to be a lot of smart people on the right and on the left who get locked in a room and will be forced to actually fix the ACA. And what I like about it is that, that we've actually drawn a line in the sand and said, OK, here's what the legislation is. Mm -hmm. And obviously, costs have gone up you know, on people like me. And, uh, but I'm not willing to ditch it. I want to fix it. Ryan, I, I get that you get revenue as a result of the Affordable Care Act. But do you have any sympathy for Ravine, who's footing the bill for the mandates that have been put <laughs> in place that mean that you actually make more money? No, we, we're fitting the bill, too. We have employees that we have to cover health insurance for, short-term disability and everything else. And have so your costs gone it. up in, in, in insuring your employees? Yes, our costs have gone up, but also a tremendous amount of people have been helped. Uh, we can't all be about capitalism. At some point in time, we have to sacrifice for the better good of everyone. And I think that well, that's really important in our society as business owners and as citizens. Well, Ravine, I, I, it sounded I, I like just, you wanted to say something. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I just want to defend capitalism in the sense of I am a virulent capitalist, but I'm also for helping people. So I think that I, I just want to get on record saying that, you know, as an entrepreneur and as a CEO of a company, you know, we've always insured our people. Um, I want to keep, you know, insurance uh, very robust, but I still think that uh, there, it needs a fix. But I don't want to ditch it. I want to fix it. Yeah, and what about taxes? Where does that fall, uh, Ryan? I know a lot of talk about health care. We've also had a lot about taxes. Yeah, um, uh, bluntly, I, I'm, I'm going to get attacked a lot more under Hillary Clinton administration. Uh, however, based on economist estimates uh, under Mr. Trump's plan, the economy is going to suffer greatly and possibly lose trillions of dollars. So what does it benefit me to make a, a couple extra dollars uh, because I don't pay them in taxes if people can't afford our services? Um, if we can't have clients that can afford our services, it doesn't benefit under uh, Mr. Trump's plan. So I just don't see it working long term, uh, even though I get a tax break. Well, I'm, gl I'm glad to hear you're a successful guy. You should be proud about that, Ryan. I mean, it means <laughs> if, you're, if your taxes are going up, you're probably in the income strata that has in some ways been, you know, vilified a little bit, sort of we're going to take the 1% whatever. Uh, Ravine, I, I assume you're probably also in, in that group. 
Uh, have you done the numbers? How much do you think your family's finances may be impacted? Yeah, I mean, taxes, I think, uh, on successful businesses like mine will probably go up under Secretary Clinton. But I'm kind of with uh, maybe with the Warren Buffetts and the, and the Mark Cubans on this point, which is we're all about strengthening the middle class. So if under Secretary Clinton there's a tax cut for the middle class, I think that's actually what's most important to the global economy. And as a citizen, I'm willing to probably play just a little bit more if it kind of helps uh, the country um, be what it is. You know, this is the greatest mm. country in the history of mankind. And I think that part of that means uh, that successful people are willing to, to kick in their fair share. A lot share. of suppositions in there, though, about what will actually happen with her taxes and about how much she wants to spend. Thanks, guys. And, and, I, and, and I might be deluded, but I, like I said, I'm optimistic. But right. they're both happy to help. Ryan and Ravine, we appreciate your insight. Thank you. Guys, good luck. Take care.